In this video, we are going to take a look at the creation of fabrication drawings for parts and for groups. Let's open the Detail Center first. With the Detail Center open, we can see that we already have some detail styles created and they are already assigned to our elements. But we are going to change the filtering view of this to be a user defined by part description for single parts first. This shows me now the listing according to my part descriptions. Under base plates, we can see we've created a part. And under bracing new vertical, we also created four elements. So these are the only five elements that we are going to process in this example. I process them to the View tab. And now when I go to the View tab, I also sort myself by user defined part description single parts and I can see I've got my base plate and my bracings. Let's take a quick peek at what it looks like with a preview. This is my base plates drawing and it has been assigned to the detail style base plates, which is a detail style at that scale one to four. For all single parts, we control the display and the dimensioning is going to be controlled under single part. So this is where I'm telling it to dimension the holes and to dimension my total dimension of the plate. I am also using the description additional text to give me the quantity required, to give me the shape name, and to give me the piece mark, BP1. I am OK with this. Let's take a quick look at one of the bracings. This first bracing that I selected, VB2, there's only one of them, but it's also shortened. So the only difference here between the base plate and the bracing is that I needed to add the shorting information in order to shorten the shape so that all of my bracings, although they have different lengths, will look exactly the same once detailed. Once I'm satisfied with this, I can transfer all of these elements to the next tab, the Insert tab. In my Insert tab, we can see that we've got now my base plate and my bracings. Now I'm going to go back to my Parts tab, and now we're going to process the groups. So I'm going to change my filtering to be now by Group Structure. And now for the Group Structure, I'm going to process two beams, actually three beams. I think I have a third one here, yes. Three beams and one column. So these four elements are the ones I'm going to process. So under the View tab, I need to change my filtering to be now by group. And here are my elements. I can take a quick look, let's say, at my column. And here is the detail of my column. The difference between parts and groups, whether it's the beams or the column, when you look at the detail style, is that we have enabled another few features. For example, the piece mark flags. These have been added under my position flags tab where I'm defining how to place these flags. I am also defining two different dimensions. I'm adding a single part dimension, which is dimensioning the main part, which is the column. So that's giving me the holes location on the column or on the beam if I were detailing a beam. And I'm using also the group dimension, which is for the parts that are attached to the main part. In this case, the base plate and the gusset to define their location in reference to the main part. It would be the same thing for the three beams. So I'm going to process these since I know they are already more or less the way I want them. Once they have turned blue, I can go and look at them under the Insert tab. I can filter this again by, ah, it's already by group structure. So there is my beams and my column ready to be detailed. So the next step is like we did for the general arrangements video. We need to change the model we're working in. So let's go to the base plates model. Notice I already have three sheets ready 
to receive drawings. And I'm not going to insert everything. I need to go to my insert model where I'm going to insert all of these elements. So I go to my fabrication drawing uh, reference and let's insert all of these. So I'm not going to insert all of them at the same time. I'm going to start by this single part. So that's going to be the bracings and the base plate. And I'm going to tell it to insert these. And I'll put the base plate here and I'll put the bracings on this side. I'll put them pretty close to each other. Oop, maybe too close. Something like that. Now this one is a bit too close, so I'll just move it up. And you could realign them. I'm not going to worry about that. And then let's process the beams and the columns. So I'll select the two three beams and a column and insert those. And those I'll just place individually. Randomly, not really that important where you place them. I can close my detail center. I don't need this anymore. I can now go to my base plate sheet, for example. So in my base plate sheet, I need to reference a new drawing. I'm going to reference the same drawing from the to the inserts page. And since this is the base plate, this one has a scale uh, 1 to 4, which is 3 inches to a foot. I could give it a name and so on. I'll just leave it as is. There is my insertion. So this is inserting this which is the whole model. I just need the base plate. So I'll just move this so it's located where I want it. Let's say more or less here. And then I'll simply create a fence around the object I want to keep. And I'll say clip reference. And there is my base plate drawing. I am done with this sheet. I can now go to the bracing sheet. In the bracing sheet, I will do the exact same thing. So I will go to a reference and I will tell it I need to create a new reference. It's going to be from the same drawing, same place, same scale. This is also at 1 to 4. So that's going to be 3 inches to a foot. Notice how the sheet is bigger, but now at least these fit in here. So I can place these here. And same thing, create a fence. clip reference and there is my second sheet. Now for beams and columns, same process. I go to the beams and columns sheet. I tell it to reference again from the same place from the insert, but this time it's going to be inch and a half to a foot. And I say, OK. And now notice how this is even bigger. And I can put here whichever element I want. Let's say I want to put the column only. And then I just create my fence and clip. And there is my column detail. I can close all of these. And that is how you can create your shop drawings.